Hi, it's Kaylee Mack with MX5 Digital. The dash does take some wiring before it can be installed. Take your old instrument cluster and carefully remove the black bezel from the white housing. There are some tabs involved, so use a flathead if necessary. From there, you can remove the gauges using an upward motion. Once your housing is empty, take the digital wiring board and slip the wires through the back. Seat the board in the housing. The wires are all grouped together. In our video, we've already added connectors, but you will need to add yours. We have different color wires to ensure a distinction, and a few won't be connected, like the gray, the purple, and the white. You can start with the orange wire. The orange wire is for the oil pressure sending unit, which we will later replace for better compatibility. The red wire, not to be confused with the orange wire, is for power, and it allows for power to be on when the key is in. The yellow wire is for the fuel gauge sending unit. Your pre-existing fuel gauge sending unit is fine and will not be replaced during the installation of the cluster. Next is the green wire, and the green wire controls the tachometer. Last, we have the blue wire and the black wire. The blue wire is for the temperature sending unit, which will later be replaced. The black is the ground wire and should not be confused with the blue wire. So in order from left to right, you should have blue, black, red, orange, green, and yellow. The other wires that we have are the white wire, the purple wire, and the gray wire. When attached to the headlights, the purple wire allows for the dimming of the dash when the headlights are up. The white wire is responsible for the speedometer reading and attaches to the new speedometer cable that we will install later on. The gray wire allows you to easily set the trip odometer and also allows for calibration. Before reattaching the bezel, peel the protective coating off the lens and seat it on top of the board.